You know what everyone read, says. You're in the tabloids this week. Yeah, I got to read that on the air too. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I, was, I, was I it. said, "Whoa, what's this?" I had to sit down and read that. Right. It was away. the same stupid junk I see on the air, except all twisted around. Right, like somebody else was saying this about you. Yeah. It was uh, it was that I was unpopular in high school and that the I was what? a gunky, gawky guy. The what? Did anybody call you gunky? Yeah, I told you that uh, the one guy who did was this guy Scott Possessor yeah. for about uh, a, about a year, and he's the guy who did the interview and probably just wants to be famous and hear his name. I was going to say gunky. I never heard that yeah, before. Uh, yeah, because he called me that because we were we'd give each other, he was the biggest gunk around. I mean, you know, he was as gunky as they come. This guy was a total loser. <laughs> I mean, you know. And he, did you see, he called, he called himself, when he was in high school, he was a hippie and he was a cool guy. Right. This and was no he cool guy. about some guy beating you up. No. And then you offering him a joint. He's probably just trying to get himself in the, you know, he wants to be interviewed. Right. But he, doesn't, he knows less about me than, than, uh, than Fred. I mean. That was the one story that he had. And I was like, hmm. this doesn't sound familiar at it all. It was a total lie. Okay. Because, you know what it is? People who went to high school and stuff, he wouldn't even know what I was up to. The guy... The guy hung out with me a couple of times. Uh huh. And uh, anything that they had in the store was stuff I've, I've always told you on the air. Right, but the other thing I took issue with yeah. was he said you weren't even a good card player. That was me on the air saying that. That's from my book, Miss America. I really? Mean, that's, yeah, yeah. Oh. I was talking about it, but I am a good card player. You know me, I exaggerate. Okay. But he doesn't know anything about me. He, so, he, what he knows about me is what he hears on the radio. Yeah. He wouldn't know anything about me. You want to interview people who knew me. Because even they, they even had a picture of this guy in uh, the article. That's him. Like he knew you. Like you and he were friends. They had your high school picture. He was and a, his high school. Picture. He was as close to me as a maggot was as close to me. But I it mean, wasn't like they had a picture of you two together. No, he doesn't have any pictures of me with him. He doesn't even know me. Usually, if some guy's your friend, you know, they they publish a picture of the two of you together to prove that the guy hung out with you. The people, you know, a lot of my friends get contacted for this stuff. Yeah. You know, people who actually meant something to me in my life and people who care about me. Well, you know, I get, get really pissed because nobody ever contacted. <laughs> I know. Because they know you're not to talk and the thing is that people who care about me and people who have known me my whole life who actually know things about me if you if you want to say anything that I've, I've ever done in my life i've said on the air uh i've never uh you know i've never kept anything a secret quite frankly i don't have any <laughs> but anybody who would care about me every once in a while I get contacted to be a part of something and anyone who cares about me the people who are my real friends uh -huh. just call me up and go they want me to talk about you and I, right. I request that they don't because it's just a ripoff but I would like the opportunity to say no. Nobody can get Even Jackie has learned to shut up at this point. No comment. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Jackie was out of control the first couple yeah. of years. But no, even he Jackie was out of control, though, in his own article. Right. Article about Bellevue being mistake. Well, Jackie was like, you know, one of these guys was all of a sudden excited. People wanted to interview him. And I said to him, Jackie, they're interviewing you because they want to know stuff about me. Like, oh, they want to talk to me. Oh, oh, it's about hand. me. Right. It kills you that they want to talk to me. Right. And then I said, no, no, Jackie, if they want to talk about you, fine. But once they start talking about me, give me a break. And then he suddenly realized there were a lot of questions about you. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's this got to do with me? We're <laughs> <laughs> talking about me. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know, I'm a man of my own right. <laughs> I'm traveling hey, all the great country of ours. Stand up and... South Carolina. <laughs> that guy was no friend of mine, and uh, he was no he was no. Cla I like he wrote he wrote in the article he had long hair, but maybe I should read it on the air. Yeah, it was a funny article. Yeah, you, you saw that guy's picture. He's on. Yeah. He's on. Ooh. Yeah, he was no ladies' man, but I like how he sees himself as a great athlete, right. and he was a hippie. Right. He all of a sudden became a drugged out hippie too. Yeah, he was no hippie. You two <laughs> dressed alike. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> and ran around with your long hair. He was no friend to me. And you got real cool all of a sudden. Yeah, every, I love the guys who will talk about me from high school and do nothing about me. Did you ever get cool in high school? <laughs> I was a lot cooler than him. <laughs> if someone wants to interview me about him, I could do that. <laughs> but nobody cares. Yeah, right. You've got to read an article on Scott. I love these. Yeah, because I called my mother. I go, guess who was talking about me in the, in, in the, uh, the tabloids? She goes, who? I go, Scott. She goes, who's Scott? I go, Scott Possessor. She goes, that guy barely knew you. <laughs> I said, I know. I said I play cards at his house a couple of times. Yeah. She goes, uh, she goes, isn't it amazing that like these people in your life who are there for a second all want to leech off you? They're the only ones who Some are friends. going to do it. Nice guy. <laughs> what a pal. Thanks, pal. But it was a riot seeing this big story. 
What was the, the big, bold headline? Something about you being a high school geek? Uh, Howard Stern was uh, Revenge of the Nerd. Yes. Howard yes. Stern was a real nerd. <laughs> well, that's, that, that's true. I mean, I admit that. I was not even a nerd. But I, as I've said on the air in the many times, I wasn't even a nerd. You I couldn't even make it into that girl. No, I was, like, I was a non-entity. And then you knew the guy knew nothing about me because he was sitting there talking about how uh, I got beat up in high school. He didn't, right, I, I he would beat, not know what He's all confused. Roosevelt. I never got beat up in high school. I wish I would have gotten beat up in high school. Maybe someone would have noticed me. Well, that was what I was talking about, that marijuana story. Somebody was starting to beat you up, and then you pulled out a joint. Remember I once told you on the air there was a guy who was kind of like a... Uh, I, I got him high in my garage. Uh -huh. That's what that story was. Uh -huh. So he probably heard it on the air and then tried to regurgitate yeah, it. Yeah, because the way he... He wouldn't even know that. It, it sounded like you were back at Roosevelt. He wasn't there. The guy doesn't know anything about me. And then he talks about you trying to play basketball and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, like he was with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. I was, I, was, I was playing a lot of basketball with him. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did in high school. I was a basketball player. That's what, that was my goal. <laughs> what a douchebag. Yeah, it really pisses me off, man, when people do that. They and the other thing, know me. Well, how tall are you now? Are you still growing? I'm 6'5". Because they had you at 6'6". Six, six. No. I was like, is that possible? I'm 6'5". Right. Well, he probably measured me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Were you 6'2 in 10th yeah. uh, grade? Uh, yeah. Wow. I've said that on the air. That's incredible, though. No, I've said that on the air, though. But it's just, I never thought about, you know, being that tall. I was 6'2 in high school, not in, in uh, yeah, in 10th grade. Yeah. And then I was 6'5". Uh, I grew, actually, well into college. I actually grew a couple inches in college. Yeah. And that was it. I think I might still be growing. I think so. <laughs> so anyway, um, he's gonna be Gulliver. Hey, I'm watching TV, and 